okay welcome back to the physics class in the previous class we have discussed the helmholtz galvanometer and we got the expression for the helmholtz galvanometer and uh, current passing through the helmholtz galvanometer for that expression we got it in the previous class okay and right now based on that concept only in this class we are going to study the we are going to solve the few problems which is based on the helmholtz galvanometer okay just to look at this problem how you are going to solve the problems uh, which is related with the helmholtz galvanometer okay and now see the problem what that will show you what the what they had asked here a helmholtz galvanometer having coils each of having the 60 turns they had given the turns your number of turns how many 60 okay and having the radius 20 centimeter okay so already what we know that the both the circular coils they must be having the same radius okay so that's why those are having the radius 20 centimeter produces a deflection of 45 degree okay how much they have given the angle theta 45 degree deflection okay and when a current of 0.2 ampere flows through it okay so right now what we are having if you are considering the two circular coils okay these two circular coils are having the uh, 0 0.2 uh, how much uh -huh, okay yes that is a 20 centimeter radius okay and these two coils are which are producing the how much current uh, uh, flows through it 0 0.2 ampere is that right and in the similar way what he had asked means calculate the horizontal component of the earth field that is what we know that we know this is nothing but what horizontal component of the earth field means what that is what the bh and find the RF of the galvanometer. What is this mean? This is the reduction factor. Okay. So these are the two uh, uh, parameters we need to find. So by taking these given parameters. Okay. So look at this uh, solution here. Whatever they had given, just to take down all the parameters. The given parameters are. They had given the number of turns that is n 60 turns okay and uh, radius is that is r or else a i can take even here they have given the 20 centimeter or else you can take that one as 0.2 meter okay and what is the deflection here how much is the deflection of angle here that is theta they had given 45 degree and current r how much that is flowing 0.2 ampere okay and he asked here dh that is what the horizontal component of the earth field and another one is reduction factor that is what k this is what what they had given and what we have to find it here okay so right now we need to know the expression for the the current through uh, current is passing through the helmholtz galvanometer for that expression we need to know that if you want to get the answer for bh and the reduction factor okay so already we know that i can write it here the expression for that i is equals to phi root phi into i whole divided by h n mu naught into tan theta this is what our expression this expression for what current is flows through the helmholtz galvanometer and here by using this expression now you substitute the whatever they had given the parameters what they had given they had given the angle of the deflection that is the theta okay how much they had given 45 degree and they had given the how much is current uh, how much the current is flowing through it that is i is equals to 0.2 ampere they had given and here a what that will represents that is the radius of the coil or else you may consider a small r that is also radius of the coil here so how much is there? there is also 0 
2 meter okay and another thing is what what this end represents that is the number of turns how many numbers they had given number of turns 60 and another one you know uh, another one is you are having we know that this is the mu naught mu naught value is the 4 pi into 10 to the power 7 minus 7 okay so now kindly substitute and just look at here 5 root 5 into radius how much you are having 0 0.2 and how much the current we are having here 0 0.2 okay and now whole divided by 8 into number of turns 60 and mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and into tan of 45 degree okay and now just to look at here now this is actually bh okay so this is not just point two this is bh okay so now here here this is the expression for the current okay and right initially what i need here i need this bh is that right so just to make this and already we know that what we are having this is current is 0 0.2 ampere okay so now just you rearrange these parameters so bh is equals to 8 into 60 into 4 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 0 0.2 is that right and whole divided by you are remaining with what here 5 root 5 into 0 0.2 2 okay so so you are having another one is tan 45 degree is that right so what is the value for this this is one right so that's why you can write like this this one is into one okay and right now so if you did the numerical calculation with towards this expression means finally we will get the first uh, answer for this bh what is this bh we are having horizontal component of the earth field okay so right now how much you will get this one means i think uh, that is uh, 5.396 into 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla this is what BH value what we got after substituting all the given parameters okay and now see now here what we are meaning with finally we got this expression for the first one BH okay so that is what the horizontal component of the earth field we got it and another one is what he had asked here he asked here reduction factor how much is the reduction factor with respect to this one okay so that's why i can define the expression for the reduction factor like this so what we know that so that is 5 root 5 bh into a whole divided by 8 n mu naught Okay, because we know that the expression like this is that right? I is equals to K can theta. Is that right? So here we can call this K as the reduction factor. Okay, and this expression we can call this one as the current through the uh, current is passing through the Helmholtz galvanometer. Is that right? So here I have to find the I can take this one as 2 and this one as 1. And for this, you need to get the reduction factor. Okay. And here, simply substitute the all the uh, whatever you got the values. What are those values means? Here, just I write it here. So that is RF that is equals to 5 root 5 into how much we are having we got the this bh value 
0.396 into 10 to the power minus 5 into what is the radius we are having 0.2 meter and whole divided by 8 number of terms is 60 and mu naught value we know that 4 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 okay and now you got you have substituted all the uh, known values okay so right now if you make the calculation with respect to this step finally you will get the reduction factor like this this is reduction factor around 0 0.199 into 10 to the power minus 1 ampere okay so just once you simplify this one you will get this answer okay so this is what all about how you are going to uh, find the bh and the reduction factor values okay simply you need to concentrate on the given parameters what they had given and what we have to find and which formula or else which expression we are going to use here okay so for example instead of this example if you go with the another example so right now what i what i will do uh, simply the thing is what instead of this uh, 60 turns what he will give you he will give you the 30 turns okay and at that moment the deflection sometimes he will give you uh, 65 degree okay and another thing is what here he will give you 0.4 meter is that right and here he will give you 0.4 ampere is that right and in the, by giving this different uh, values finally again what he will ask you, he, you need to find the horizontal component of the earth field and as well as the, you need to find the how much the reduction factor with respect to this galvanometer okay and again for this one again what you have to do simply just you need to use the expression for this current is passing through the Helmholtz galometer that is i is equals to phi root phi a b h tan theta whole divided by h n mu naught okay and after getting the b h value what do you have to find if he asks the reduction factor means just use the reduction factor formula which is already existed in this first expression that is what we are having that is phi root phi bha divided by h n mu naught if you take that formula means finally you will get the reduction factor this is what how you are going to find the reduction factor and as well as the bh okay but in the sometimes what he will ask directly he may ask the reduction factor without asking the bh value at that moment just need not to find this one means because why because directly he will give you bh value at that moment you need you need not to find all these uh, things okay so direct by substituting bh value in this reduction factor formula okay simply what he will give you radius of the coil he will give you and uh, uh, this is the bh value he will give you and again number of turns he will give you and this is the constant parameter you should have to know that mu naught value that is 4 5 to 10 to the power minus 7 okay so right now by substituting that value directly you will get the reduction factor okay so this is what how you are going to find the reduction factor okay this is the another uh, this is the another way and instead of this he will ask like this what he will ask he won't ask you any reduction factor nothing like that so he will ask you directly find the current which is passing through the coils or else a node galvanometer so at that moment what you have to find it here you need to find the this I only so if he asks the current means at that moment what are the known parameters he had given he will give in the problem he will give you radius okay and again he will give you component of the earth field that is what the BH and again he will give you the deflection that is theta value and he will give you number of terms also directly by substituting all the values finally you will get the directly current how much the current is passed through the coils okay so this is what another way or else another way to ask the problems with respect to this concept okay so now hope that uh, all of you understood how you are going to solve the problems with respect to this hermogenometer concept okay thank you